next verb group by group by is basically we all have used in sql or at many places like even if you talk about the database then every uh, database uh, has it or in, in pandas it is basically a very core of the analysis of any data so so it is used for aggregation functions mainly so let us say i so now see again i am using the chaining and i am passing the output of left hand side to right hand side and this is a classic example do pay your best attention here so i am passing the flights data to group by and i am saying that okay group by my data from by career okay now after grouping by you see that i have another uh, operator here so what i am doing that i am passing now after grouping by i am passing it to this and i am saying summarize it by average delay equals to mean departure delay so i am saying that create me a new column and say that 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 is average delay and provide me the mean of departure delay in them and then arrange that by descending order of the delay so basically let me run this and that will make more sense so here it is so now you see that i have grouped all my flights by career so you see no other column then what i have done i have created a new column here you see that average delay i have summarized all the flights by delay and what i have done in the delay i have said that okay now provide me the average of departure delay and i have say any dot rm equals to true meaning that do not consider any ns if they are available in my column in my departure delay column so i have said that okay group my data by the career and provide me the mean of the departure delay and arrange it by descending order you might remember that we have discussed arrange function earlier in this video so if you are confused about that just uh, go back and check that again so basically i have summarized my data based on the average delay that is mean departure delay so that is very handy very useful and see that uh, within a two lines basically it's merely two lines we have done such a great analysis and now i can say that okay this is my flight which is highest f9 is the career which is which has the highest delay okay i don't want to travel by that right or you can see that okay let us say that okay don't do it by descending order let me find out which is which flight or which career has the least departure delay so you see that us i think i'm not sure which airlines is this but you see that okay if i would like to travel by this because it has the least delay that is fairly small number all right so you see that we have come to a very insightful uh, information all right now one is count so again i have grouped by my data by career so basically i have grouped all of my data by the career and now i have said that okay provide me the count that how many flights or how many flight does an particular career is operating at that particular day or in this particular data set and then arrange it by descending order so now you see that united airlines has the highest number of flights operated so basically this is career is your airline name and i have just said that okay group by career group my data by career and provide me the count then essentially that is what the total number of observation in my particular database based on this particular condition so basically and then i have arranged by descending order so you see that now you can uh, make sense with this data or this output that what i have done that now i have basically figured out that which is the highest operating career in my data set which has the maximum occurrences so basically this provides you the count and you can just manipulate it based on your condition distinct is a very handy uh, handy uh, verb and it is very very useful distinct is, as you all know uh, it provides you the distinct number of uh, whatever condition you provide let me run this cell so basically let me show you the uh, output of the first command that is in the left hand side so basically i have said that okay uh, take my flight data set and provide me all the distinct destination so i am saying that in my data set what are the distinct destination where are my flight departed to provide me a distinct number of them means no duplicacy provide me exactly one count of each destination so basically uh, by here you can identify that which all are the destination operated okay so basically this is that and now if you see dot keep all equals to true what it does this is also very useful it is providing you the same output basically the same destination exactly one count okay but it is keeping all the other columns also there in the data set so here you see that i was getting only destinations 
here i am getting all the columns along with the destination so destination is exactly one it is distinct but it is also keeping the other observation associated with that particular record at the same time okay hope that makes sense keep this in mind distinct very handy very useful for the data analysis next verb mutate mutate is something extremely extremely helpful do pay your best attention here mutate is used when you want to create a new column out of your data frame or you uh, you can create a new column or you want to do some calculation on your existing data columns and want to create a new col column in your data set for example i have taken my flash data set and you say that i want to get a column speed i want to know what is the speed i don't have that in my data frame what i can do that in i don't have a speed but in the data set uh, what i have i have distance travel and i have air time so basically that is your speed distance equals to distance divided by time all right what i can do i can use the command mutate okay and in mutate i want to say what is the new column name so i said okay use mutate create me a new column speed and then i have provided my logic so basically i have said okay create a new column name speed and provide the value as distance divided by air time let me run this so you see that if i go to the end you see that i have the speed okay so basically i have created a new column using speed and i have said the distance here you can see divided by air time so even if you want to say then you, you can use a calculator also it will be the same uh, uh, output so basically i have created a new column or new output okay that is very useful very handy just uh, not i think a line or a half line of code and we got such a beautiful column or it is very insightful now if else if else is basically just as we ha uh, might have in every programming language have if else so basically <clears throat> what i am doing here so you, let us say you want to say okay your manager asks you that give me the flight status and do one thing that uh, whichever the flights have departure delay of less than equals to two write them on time and whichever have the departure delay greater than two write them delayed okay so you say that you are being general and you say whichever the flights which are having less than equals to two as a departure delay be generous and say that those are on time this much happens in the aviation industry so <clears throat> you can use the if underscore else command and i am providing my data column flights dollar de departure delay so here i have written my condition first thing is it i am providing three inputs okay parameters first is my condition second is second is what will be the condition what will be the output if this condition is true third thing third thing is that what will be the output if this condition which i have mentioned in the first place is false so if departure underscore delay is less than two please pay attention if departure underscore delay is less than equals to two the output will be on time if it is if it is greater than two then it will fall back to this particular condition and it will say delayed okay and that output will be uh, uh will be stored in the flight status column i will create a new column let me run this and it will make sense okay so now the new column is created at the end you see that for the first flight it is saying that it is on time let me see if my logic works fine let me go to the departure delay and you see that for this particular flight the departure delay is two and that is what i have written here that if the departure delay is less than equals to two say this flight is on time let us say that for the second flight i have depart departure delay of four so it should be delayed let me see so for the flight number two you see that it is delayed because this condition did not turn to be true so it is showed delayed that makes sense that is what we wrote okay 